This time I'm going to set up our uh, SSH to have passwordless login. So let's say for example you have a computer in your house that you know is secure and all that. Uh, and you don't want to type in your password every time because you use SSH a lot. And typing your password every day it's just uh, inconvenient. So you can set it up to do it automatically. So I'll give you an example. Like normally if you do like a, an SSH connection. Uh, if you guys don't know how to use SSH. Uh, I'll post you a video that I did a while ago and hopefully you learn the basics first but let's say we log in here with SSH here right and you have to type in your password every time you know I'll ask you for your password so even if you exit uh, and I said close here and you log in again guess what you gotta type in your password again so you see the idea is that uh, if you use SSH a lot uh, at your house or whatever it's a little inconvenience to type it in every time. So we're going to set up a uh, password login. And to do that, I'm give you an example here. Let's go into our uh, SSH folder. Now this folder is empty right now. Well, it has this uh, known host here for our IP that we connected to. But uh, it only has one file. Now what you want to do is generate a key, a public key. And to do that, we're going to use... Uh, SSH uh, key, the key gen here, right? That's all you gotta type and push enter. And I'll tell you, do you want to save it in this location? Yes, it'll actually create one of these files right here. Uh, so you just push enter. Do you want a, uh, a passphrase? Um, for this example, no, we don't want to create any uh, thing. So you push enter, push enter again. And there you go, it generates a, uh, you know, RSA key here basically and if you list it out again so right now if we list it out again you see it creates these two files that we just did so ID RSA and ID RSA public here so we're gonna use this public key and we're gonna send this key to our server so the server knows that uh, hey you know this is the key that uh, I want to use every time I log in so I don't have to type in my password anymore so we're going to use this command, which is called SSH uh, copy ID. And we're going to input uh, this file right here, this one, right? So I'm going to type in ID. Uh, oops, ID. Let's push tab to autocomplete it here. So that one. And then you want to send it to your server. So my server was, uh, what is that? Hell yeah. Uh, core was the username. And it's always at my IP address, which is 192.168.1.100, because it's reserved at that IP always. And you press enter, and this is probably the last time you have to type in your password for this. Okay, so you press your password in, and there we go. Now, when you log in to, um, what is that, your SSH? So if you do SSH now, what is that? Uh, to your server it's not gonna ask you for your password anymore right look at that it will just automatically log in the reason for that is that if you go into the CD uh, was it SSH uh, for our server uh, they'll actually create this key here or they actually save it they'll actually save it into this uh, authorized keys here right so the public key of our um, what is that our local machine will actually be in here and you have to do this for every computer that uh, you know you set up like a new computer or whatever you have to do that every time now the reason why uh, let's exit out of this here um, the reason why you should use the copy uh, what's that what's it called SSH copy ID the reason why you want to use this uh, command over like secure copy like SCP or something like that is that this command will actually append it to that file uh, the authorized keys files and it's not gonna overwrite it because if you use like uh, multiple computers to generate a new key or something like that this command will actually just append it to that file instead of like overwriting it, uh, using like SCP or uh, any other command that you use to send files so use this command to append it alright Anywho, that's how you set it up. Not that hard. Um, everything will be in the description. That'll be it for this one.